Eileen Hull is a designer, author, and licensed artist with physics. She's an active blogger sharing projects, crafting tips, her latest design work, and new trends in crafting. Today, Eileen is sharing an adorable frame project. I'm delighted to welcome Eileen Hull. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Tiffany. How are you today? Everyone is uh, looking good. It looks like we have a good crowd. Um, I'm excited to be here to show you one of my new dies that has come out recently at CHA, and that uh, is the Scoreboard Pro frame die. Um, and for those of you that are not familiar with physics, I'm just going to tell you a very quick, basic idea of what it does. The um, physics has several machines that will cut uh, different shapes out. And so basically I work with them and I I brought to them the idea of cutting mat board. Previously they'd only cut paper. So my idea was to cut thicker stuff and have nice cool boxes and, and books and things like that. So um, that's mainly what I designed for them. I've done some paper dies, but um, that's kind of my specialty. So what I have for you today is a frame and it's, I think it's really versatile. In fact, when I was playing with it, it's like I almost couldn't decide what to do with what. There are a lot of components and uh, a lot of different possibilities that uh, different combinations of, of uh, shapes that you can use together. So, uh, Tiffany, if you could put up the picture of the project, then I'll adjust my camera. Okay, I just want to show you what the actual die looks like when you cut it out. Uh, so what this little plastic plate here is, you put it on this machine and you roll it through. And then when you're done, this is what comes out. There's a, a rubber plate and with a cutting knife in it. Uh, so these are the components. This is a 6x6 six six, uh, rectangle, rounded rectangle. I've cut this out of chipboard, but it's nice and sturdy. I, I do like to use mat board, but just for lightness, I use this. Uh, some, these are some of the different components on the die. These are little flaps, if I can get it out here. So these have score marks in them so you can fold them over and make little books. This is an easel here. Uh, this piece, whoops, <laughs> can't put it in there. Okay, well these are just different frame shapes and all of them pop out so you can use them separately or combine them with other pieces. So I'm going to show you the project that we will be, well, this is the project that I did. So with other pieces. So I'm going to show you the project that we will be, well, this is the project that I did. So I'm going to show you how we put this together with some other pieces. Uh, and actually, I have some other projects that I did with the things that I had left over. Uh, these are just pieces that I thought would make a cute little book. I haven't put the photos in yet, but they're nice and sturdy and uh, just kind of fun to combine and play with and, and see what you can do. Uh, you could do all of the 6x6 six six pieces and make a book out of that. Um, these are the pieces that I have left over from the one that we're going to work on. Uh, this is, I cut out three, three pieces of mat board. So as you can see, you have a lot of choices in color and I'm just going to adjust this out a little bit here. There, should have done that in the beginning. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's being temperamental. Okay. This piece is the easel, which just pops out, and then you put a little piece of double-sided tape back here, right here, Oops. <laughs> and you attach that to that, and that's going to make a nice little easel. Um, this, the die also comes with little flower embellishments. This one I put together already, but you can have fun playing with that. And basically, all we're going to do is start adding 
layers of tape on the back of these frames. Okay. And I'm going to center it. Press. And I'm going to do the next one. Oops. It's really so easy. And you can go over pieces. You can also use paper, which I did with the other one. Now this one is a cutout and it had the flowers in it, but you really can't tell on the edge here, so I'm just going to put another thing, tape right along the back. And actually I do it this way. This is my granddaughter Trinity, and we took her sleigh riding this winter. She was having a good old time. She was getting carried around and we were wet and cold and... <laughs> That's when it pays to be a kid. <laughs> so uh, then I'm going to take some pop dots and just place them on the back of the little embellishments here. And you can add ribbon or anything to this. And you put it wherever you want. And these things all spin around. So Anyway, that is my project. And I mean, that was fast, as you can see. I'm probably ahead of schedule, but uh, there are a lot of different things you could do with this.